Hey guys, Shaber1000 here. Today we're going to be pulling the head off of this weed eater right here. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, what we have here, we've got a Troy built weed eater. It is the uh, what is that? TB635EC. It's the four cycle. Now, the problem with this is, it's my niece's. Uh, she's saying there is no compression, and it, it really doesn't feel like there's any compression. So, I know there should be more than that, even with a, with a uh, relief, release on, or pressure release, compression release on it. But there's no seems like there's no compression and after like 15 minutes of use it would shut down now that's when I brought it in here but it seems to me like it'll start and then kind of shut off start and shut off for a long time it's real hard to get running after you get it running yes it will run for a few minutes so I don't know if it's a compression issue it does sound like a compression issue to me so Let's start uh, pulling this thing apart and see what we get. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this cover off right here, the air cleaner. Now I've had the air cleaner off before. I've worked on this thing before and uh, I forget what the problem was. Uh, but it seemed okay, run fine. What did I do to it? I did something to it. I can't remember now. But there, it was something simple. But, alright. Now we're going to have to try to get these, uh, the covers off of here. So, let me get my glasses here. And it looks like there's a screw back here and a screw back here. And I'm sure this side cover has to come off. Uh, maybe. But I'm sure I will take it off because if not, I know it's going to get in the way. I don't know. It looks like that's got a rivet in it here. So I don't know. But first, let's see if we can get this off of here. So, uh, it looks like I can use a standard screwdriver on that. Let's see. What the hell is that? Some weird stuff going on around here lately, guys. One of my toolbox doors yesterday, the, let's see, there's what, six on top? There's three across the top and three going down lengthways, the long ones. And this one is a deep one down at the bottom on the top part of it. Came out in the garage yesterday morning. It was open. Just like halfway. So I closed it, no problem. Did what I did and went out for a little bit, came back out. It was open again. Same same way. I'm like, what the hell? So I closed it again. Well, Later on yesterday evening, it did the same thing. Now, I don't know, but it didn't do it all night long. Looks like there's a screw here. Whoops. Yeah, there's one there. If I remember right, I think I did have to adjust the valves on this thing or something. And I can't remember what the specs are on them now can't remember how many thousands they were or they had to be because I remember taking this off I believe I cleaned the carburetor which really wasn't an issue but you know it could use because she she takes pretty good care of her stuff as you can see this is what came into me so way I brought it in here it's just like you see it so they keep they keep their stuff clean let's see is there one on this side 
Yes. So. I remember I'm using the camera that will not focus. So I can't get you much. Uh, I won't be able to get much uh, real close-up shots of anything. So I guess she's wanting me to order a new camera here pretty soon. Because I think I'm going to start a daily vlog. I want you guys down in the comments let me know do you want you want me to do a daily vlog now I'm not going to do a different channel it's too confusing to people and anymore it's hard enough to start up another channel so I will just put it under a playlist and the channel I have now there's one right here do it in the channel I have now she 1000 so yeah that's so I'm thinking about doing that. Let me know if you want me to do something like that. Because I want to make more videos. Okay. So there's that. Careful with your fuel lines. These are still limber, so I'm good there. Dirty on the outside, but... Now this is the valve cover here. There. Oh, excuse me. There's the valve cover. And let me show you guys here. Here's the valves. And rocker, well, the rocker arms. These two right here are the valves. Right underneath there. There's a, let's see, here's your intake and here's your exhaust valve. Man, they seem awful loose, don't they? Maybe I didn't adjust them. I did something, must have been a carburetor cleaning or something. And it also has push rods, a little tiny push rods. Now one of them push rods could be bent. They're back in there, like I said, I can't, it won't focus, but they're down in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take these off and uh, get you up here a little closer if I can. I'm going to go ahead and take them off. And wow, my zoom's not very good either. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them off and we'll check the push rods. So grab some grab a couple tools here guys. I do believe those to be a ten millimeter if I'm not mistaken. I, boy, them seem awful loose. I can't know they might be an eight. I can't. Uh, if I did adjust them, and that was the problem, why'd they come? So, they shouldn't be that loose, guys. That's just not. I'm surprised it was even running like that. There we go. Uh, allergies. So, well, I got a minute here, guys. What'd you think of the Spook Bridge? Pretty cool, huh? Uh, thanks again, Nancy, for... She actually screenshotted that, um, that picture for us. So she took the time and looked through that stuff. So again, thank you, Nancy. And screenshotted that and sent that screenshot to us with the arrow. As a, as a matter of fact, so that way we can see. And uh, she sent me a couple more pictures today, emailed them to me. I need to see, I need to check them out. She wants me to check them out. I, uh, I haven't got a chance to look at them yet, Nancy, but I will. So as soon as I do, I will get back to you. So if I get back to you before you see this, disregard the message. Now there's a uh, push rod for the intake. Now how you can check these to see if they're bent, just like a car. Move this out of the way. Like I said, I'm in focus. If you, you should be able to roll this and it should just, just roll nice and fine. If, if you get any kind of wobble, it's, it's going to have a bend in it. Now this one, uh, 
I ain't sure about them. That's the intake. And I try to keep them to where they are like the intake's the intake. I know they're the same guys, but I just was always taught that from from my schools. My school, first school I went to, taught me 90% of the stuff I know that I didn't learn at home and from my dad. So, they seem like they're okay. I don't see any alarming issues with them as of right now. So, what we're going to do is, let's see this. I'm not sure how this head comes off. Um, it looks to me, I may have to research this, guys. I've never had one of these ones apart. I don't think it's set up. I don't think it's set up like a jug type deal. So, I don't know. Let's see. All right, guys. What I'm going to do here. Oh, I'm sorry. You're way over here looking at them things. Okay, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to pull some more of this stuff off. I've got to pull the carburetor off. Some plastic here. Uh, this has got to, this plastic's got to come off. The exhaust has to come off. So I'm going to get that all off of there and see exactly how this head comes off. I'm not sure. Like I said, I, I don't think I've ever done one of these. Not you know the style with Troy built. But so I'm going to get that get that stuff off there, and then I'll be right back with you, and we'll go from there and see what we come up. With. All right. So stay tuned. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. We're back. I'm going to try to get this to shine down in here for you. Maybe if I bring it out here in the sun and get it to focus in on it. I've got my other camera, so if the sound is very low, that's why. Um, see all them score marks? Going up and down in there? That's no good. You can actually feel them. They are very deep. And when they get like that, it's no good. See that one? There's a bad one. The same way with the piston. The piston is the same way. It's scored so that, you know, you're going to lose compression because the rings can't seal anything up in there. Let me see if I can get you in on this here. Whoops, sorry. Come on, focus. There we go. See them scores? It's like that all the way around. All the way around this, that's the bad one that I just showed you on this one here. That bad one going down through there. That's the one that lined up with that. And it goes all the way around that piston. Like that. No good. See, clear up the top. So it's losing compression. Now she can buy another one for the price it cost her to rebuild this, even though I'm not charging her anything on labor. Um, just parts alone. I mean she'd probably buy another one for not a whole lot more so I mean so she's just going to go ahead and get another one but I'm going to try, try to maybe sell like the carburetor is good the exhaust the uh, the coil is good all that stuff's good see it's got a uh, you can replace the the boom what they call the boom on it different ends uh, I might be able to get her a few dollars back you know kind of recuperate something it's not going to be much but you know, I, I can get her. St I can get her a couple bucks back on it. So uh, that's what I'm going to try to do for. Her. Anyway, that's sorry. There, this is going to be the end of this video because this one will not be going back together. So, I mean, could I fix it? Yeah, sure. You know, I've got to buy, you know, the new jug head, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we call these jugs. You know, we'll have to buy a new one. Then I know I don't even know if it comes with the valves. Which the valve seem to be okay, but still. And if it wow, UPS guy was very loud today. Anyway, uh, of course, a new piston gonna have to have new rings. Uh, that thing just fell out of there, so. But it would have to have you know new rings, piston, and it was low on oil. So with that being said, I would kind of worry about the rod having issues later on. There is does seem to be some movement now. I didn't hear it knocking, but still, uh, just it, it it was just running low on oil. So 
I would worry about that too. So anyway, she's just going to buy another one. So I'm going to cut this one off right here, guys. Another, I guess, how-to, if you want to call it that. And, um, excuse me. But like I said, the carburetor, it's still good. Needs a little cleaning on the outside, but it it run, you know, carburetor itself fine. Uh, of course, gas tank. Like I said, these weed eater ends, people people need these quite a bit. So maybe I can get her a couple bucks back on it. And uh, we can go from there. So, shit. But it was, when it was running, it was running good. See the spark plug there? Running real good. So... So anyway guys, there you go. See the piston wasn't all real carbon up real bad. Same way with inside the valves up in there. I mean it wasn't wasn't that old, but they had it long enough where the warranty wasn't wasn't good on it anymore. So anyway, there you go guys. So I'm gonna put this stuff in a basket or something. It's a basket case now. Uh but I'm gonna go ahead and pull the coil and stuff like that off of it. And like I said, try to recuperate a couple bucks for her so anyway there you go guys sorry Courtney love you but it is what it is right so anyway guys there you go there's another video um, I guess get you turned around here I guess a video on how to what the hell I gotta get used to this camera now. oops <laughs> anyway another video on how to not destroy something but at least you know how to take it apart i wish i could put it back together for you so anyways kind of hanging out i guess this will be kind of like a little vlog on that stupid thing but anyway guys uh keep it real remember shea bear 1000 the myth the man the legend uh look out for monkey 1000 watch her videos appreciate you guys watching and everything guys so that being said i'm gonna go ahead and take off and get some more stuff done here and i'll chat at you guys soon Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye, guys.